the ice is going to melt. The trees will die and fall down. The countries will be underwater. We're scared that it's going to happen quite soon. Fear has been ruling the climate debate. It's about time that we realize the current approach is broken. If you want to get people's attention on a complex issue, you scare the pants off them. If we only listen to worst case scenarios, we're likely to be spending most of our money on the people who shout the loudest. The future of human civilization is at stake. Al Gore's film, that's a brilliant film. The only problem is that a lot of it isn't true and a lot of it that is true is misinterpreted. It was designed to scare you. The tagline of Al Gore's film is, this is the most terrifying film you'll ever see. Science has been hijacked by alarmists, and the public are given to believe that they are to blame. We start washing our clothes with stones. I'm completely off electronics. Energy efficient light bulbs. Recycle more, drive hybrids. These are great things, by all means, let's do them. But let's not kid ourselves and believe that this is what's going to fix the problem. Even if everyone in the US changed to praises, it would cut only about half a percent of what we need to cut by mid-century. Bjorn Lomborg is a traitor. The book is The Skeptical Environmentalist. Now all of a sudden, a guy nobody ever heard of came along, and he's got the answer. People got incredibly upset, and they said, that can't be true. Lomborg is somebody I admire very much. This guy needs to be taken down. Bjorn is contributing significantly to our awareness. Global warming is happening. It's a discussion of how do we actually tackle it. When we put our minds to things and when we invest, we can do amazing things. There's a lot of scientists and engineers all over the world that are totally energized. We're going to do it. What are the smart ideas? And what's the cost and what's the benefit?